had a trio of um, quails they, they got in July. They're called, you love this, Dan, Quailer Swift, Nelson Manquela, <laughs> and nice. Christopher Quailumbus. They live happily in a hutch in Clapham in South London. And apparently they roam around the flat while everyone's working from home. Oh, Quailer Quail Quail Swift is a high-class name. Um, beer won't cheer you up. Dark chocolate is better. Apparently, yeah, so Nina's in the studio. When I, when I said that, she perked up from the far end there. Um, this is the story. Uh, coffee, oranges, and grapes are among foods that put us in a good mood, while alcohol, donuts, fizzy drinks, and things like burgers are likely to make us more grumpy. It's been researched on about 2,000 adults, and they say that stuff that's high in salt and fat, um, like burgers and pizza and stuff like that, uh, makes you feel worse. So uh, dark chocolate, eggs, berries, all that sort of stuff is meant to be better for you. They're officially happy meals. Cake, white bread and sweets make you feel down. Uh, I do like sweets. Though. My favourite my favorite story from yesterday was about this this lurcher. <laughs> Just so sweet. Dogs it? are the best. Right, I'm obsessed with Cobra Kai at the minute. I know you on, are. On um, the, the TV on. series. I'll be watching it on Netflix. I've watched it all. And there's this thing now I've, I've got into about where you can name your own dojo, right, based on first letters of your names and stuff. Mine's called the, the Penguin uh, Smash Martial Arts. So here, you can do yours. You're called Penguin Smash Martial Arts. Mine is Penguin Smash. Um, yeah. The first bit is the first letter of your last name. For I you. think we know that. M. M. We know that's an M. Uh, the last number of your birth year. Eight. OK. And uh, your birth month. September. OK. Yours is the Dolphin Riot Academy. There you go. So, <laughs> Nina, here's the question for you. If you were going to take up karate, would you rather go to the Penguin Smash Martial Arts or the Dolphin Riot Academy? Come on, Nina. I mean, neither of you sound particularly <laughs> handy. <laughs> That is I'll brutal. go, I'll, I'll go with the penguins. I good. I'll go with the penguins. There you they go. Sound You're like, in the yeah. club. Penguins? I think they sound like they'd be better at karate, yeah. for obvious reasons. You wouldn't have been no a mercy. dolphin riot. No mercy Come from on. the penguin smash team. <laughs> Thank you, Nina. <laughs> Anyway, good morning. Good morning. We're going back to beer, actually. Yeah. Um, and I was saying before, speak for yourself, it can cheer you up temporarily. We've heard a lot about the UK's vaccine rollout recently, but it's becoming clear that some areas are not managing to administer their jabs as quickly as others. Uh, London's one of the areas lagging behind. Let's hear how that's affecting the work of one of our regular GPs, Dr Ellie Cannon, who served... Cool. Thank you for that, Matt. And one of those areas affected by that rain where there are some flood warnings in place at Hebden Bridge. We're going to be there a little bit later on, uh, live in the programme for you as well. Thanks, Matt. Um, it's been a bumpy start to the year for schools, hasn't it? Uh, which are now having to juggle remote learning, social distancing and COVID testing, amongst many other pressures. And now the dust has, I suppose you could say, somewhat settled, couldn't you? Uh, Breakfast John Maguire has been speaking to three head teachers from different schools to see how they are all coping. It's here um, every half an hour or so on breakfast. Thank you, Matt, very much. Uh, let's return to our top story for you this morning. Um, today marks President Trump's final full day in office after one of the most turbulent terms in American history. Our correspondent, Paul Adams, takes a look back at four years which were divisive but rarely dull. Find out what's Indeed. going on. Best port of call for all the latest information where you are. Ah. Thank you. Thanks, Lamar. Busy week ahead, then. Uh, keep an eye. Obviously, keep watching breakfast every day as well. Matt will keep you up to date with exactly what's happening with the weather. Have you been watching The Masked Singer? I if you have, <laughs> if you have, you will know by now that the grandfather clock's time is up. Uh, the man inside the costume turned out to be the former England boss and Spurs legend Glenn Hoddle. Let's have a look. It's grandfather. And for those who, who haven't seen the mass singing Glen, we showed a, a bit of a few clips of it on the on the program here this morning. But what also happens is alongside the actual show, there's this social media sort of uh, bulldozer every Saturday night where people are just guessing non-stop about who is behind the various uh, costumes. Do you know It's a real pleasure a real pleasure to speak to you. Thank you for bringing us some joy on the program as well. Thank you. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you. Uh, Glenn Hoddle, who was uh, the grandfather clock on The Masked Singer, which continues uh, 7 o'clock on Saturday on ITV. Yeah, lovely to hear from him. Um, you are watching BBC Breakfast. It is just coming up to 8.59. A last look at the news headlines for you this morning. And six Conservative MPs have backed Labour's call for the government to keep the universal credit top up worth £20 a week in place after the end of March. They've been ordered to abstain but broke ranks and the motion passed by 278 votes to none. Uh, let's speak and get a bit of analysis from our chief political... ...right through for the next two weeks. 
And I think particularly, I don't know what you feel about this, at this time of year, you know, when people are all across the UK experiencing lockdown once again, I think programmes like Winter Watch become even more important, don't they? I'm sure you get that from the feedback. 